the late summer sun beats down on the town of Wyndham, Maine. Home to a population of more than 15,000 people. Home to Wyndham High School and their mascot, the Eagles. And home to the 2009 Class A football state champions. Nine months after Wyndham lifted the gold ball at Fitzpatrick Stadium, training camp for the 2010 season begins. Gone are many of the best players from their title team, but their passion for football and a chance for a rare repeat are evident from day one. At the helm of the Wyndham Eagles is head coach Matt Perkins, who thinks while the Eagles graduated a lot from last year's team, there's nothing but optimism after the first few days of practices. Real excited. Um, come away feeling very good about this group. Um, we feel like we're, we're really deep. We're deeper than we've been. Um, obviously last year we had an unbelievable team, but we didn't feel we had the depth, and we were really worried in some games going in if certain positions we got a player hurt we had a massive drop off. Now we feel like we've, we've kind of raised the bar and we're deeper than we have been. Only, we're only returning three starters on offense and four on defense. So a lot of them haven't really touched the field, so they still have those I've never been on varsity scares. And I don't think we really have anyone that sits back and says we're the best. We're away from that. Eyes up, get down there. You bench 390 pounds and you can't do a push-up? Well, the first thing is to kind of see what kind of shape we're in. You know, have we been running enough? You know, we do a lot of stuff in the summer, um, but some guys haven't done very much. You know, you can tell right off the bat. Uh, so we want to see what kind of shape we're in. And then, how are we going to hustle? You know, are we a fast team? You know, how did that lifting in the offseason pay off? Are we more physical? How, how can we move around? You know, how is our movement? Uh, all those little things, you know, especially on the defensive side. Offensive side, mentally, did they get the stuff we did in the offseason? Are they picking up our stuff? Are they understanding what's going on? Though nearly a year has passed since last year's state championship game, few can forget the underdog Eagles improbable victory. In front of a crowd estimated at 13,000, the Eagles went down 14 points in the first quarter. But behind the leadership of University of Maine bound quarterback Jackson Taylor and Fitzpatrick award winning tailback Jack Malice, the Eagles stormed back for a 35-21 win, giving the community of Wyndham its first ever football state title. It was very positive, obviously. I mean, it was unbelievable the crowd we had the day of the state game. Um, having gone to so many games myself, to actually sit back, and, and a friend of mine um, said to me before the game, he said, hey, make sure that you know, when you're actually at the game, take a second on the field and look around. And, and after the coin toss, right before we started kickoff, I remember looking around saying, holy smokes, this is unbelievable. I mean, to me, it, it felt like the biggest crowd I've ever seen there, which who knows if it was or not, but I was so impressed by how many Wyndham people were on both sides and all the way around the fence. And uh, it's really cool to think that how far we've come in 11 years, you know, from when Kevin Millington was a head coach and they had three years of developmental and then now, and to have him and Phil Rosetti who started this program, that we're all kind of in this together and, and the staff we have now to where we are now and the community is kind of gathered around these guys and it's, it's really been a cool thing. First couple weeks after it happened, I think it took a while for it to set in, and you know, then you know, all of a sudden we get these congratulations, and everyone's putting signs up, and uh, it was a big deal. Everyone was really happy, but I think what people need to realize is that you know, last year was last year, and I mean, if we can't come out this year and get it done, then what's last year, you know? So uh, it was it was a big excitement. It was a real good experience, but we just gotta look forward to this year. So, as training camp continues. Perkins has his young and inexperienced team focused on fundamentals. Hands in the holster. Sink more TD. It's a sloppy holster. Wouldn't make a very good cowboy. You have to carry a shotgun. 
Yeah, well, I mean, coming into practice, we knew we had a lot to work on. We were a young team, had a lot of new players, and we lost a lot last year, but we had a lot of returners, too, on the line and uh, in the, uh, as a, for skill guys, too, on, like on defense. So we knew we had a really had a lot of work to do to get, you know, to get going, and we worked real well. We had a lot of good team chemistry. We developed good team chemistry throughout the se throughout the preseason. So I mean, we worked really well, and our focus is just to get better every week. So I think I think how we work is different than last year. How we work together, I think there's a lot more communication, and uh, I think that a lot of the young guys look up to the look up to the seniors on the line and in, on uh, on defense too. I mean, uh, we work real well, and we got a lot of young talent, which is going to grow for years to come. So that's what, that's what I'm looking forward to. We came in two days. You know, we put the states game behind, and we're like, we got a new season to start. Came in two days. You know, trying to get look sharp and get stuff done. You just look at it as a new season. Put everything back in the past, and just build up and get better. Well, we're just filling new positions and. We're just trying to get better. As I say, we're always trying to get better, and we're just trying to fill those spots and build on from last year. Ready? Go!